Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics for senior 2 and this video we're going to talk about a topic called compound interest and business mathematics. So this video is suitable for students in senior 2, senior 3 and senior 4. So suppose you deposit money into a financial institution. It earns interest in a specified period of time. Instead of the interest being paid to the owner, it may be added to 2. So that word added to is another, can mean compounded to, and that's where the word compound interest comes from. So compounded to the principal amount, and therefore it also earns an interest. The interest earned is what we call compound interest so in this case you earn in, you you get interest after at the end of every year but that interest is also added to the amount which will be deposited which will be used as principal in the next year therefore that's what we call compound compound interest so in brief we shall say that compound interest is the interest calculated at the end of a given period based on a given principle plus any interest already and as we have seen that every interest after at the end of every year is compounded to the principle which was ori originally there to get the new principles so with that we shall come up with a formula which say that amount is equal to at the end of any year so this is this n denotes the number of years this a denotes the amount this p is the principal at the beginning at principal at the beginning remember principal keeps on changing at the end of every year but this is the original principal at the beginning or at the starting time beginning of n years this r is the rate and this ci is the compound interest remember in simple interest it was si but now we use c to mean compound therefore a is equal to amount and p is the principle at the beginning of n yeah so basically those are the definitions that, as you can see them here a is the amount after n years p is the principle at the beginning of n years r is the compound interest rate it also it also has to be per annum n is the is the time in years and ci is the compound interest so basically these are the two formulas we shall be using in this video so you have to look for mastering them so we shall start with example one which came from uneb 2019 paper 2 question 9 and it says a pili has shillings 20 million on a fixed deposit account in a bank the bank gives a compound interest rate of four percent per annum so know that word compound interest rate calculate the amount the amount a pili will receive after two years so in this case n is the number of n is equal to two and r is four and p originally is 20 million therefore we shall use those values to sub we shall substitute those values in the formula to come up with the amount they want so we know that first of all we have to code the formula that a is equal to p in brackets 100 plus r over 100 everything raised to power n so after that we shall now come and substitute so a is 20 million which is here p is the sorry a is what we want so in this case a is what we want p is the 20 million which is here then r is the 4 which is here so the this percentage is already catered for by this denominator now n is the number of years which is 2 so that's what we put here so with that when you simplify what is in brackets we shall come up with 1.04 everything raised to power 2 which is there now when i simplify all this i'll come up with shillings 21,632,000 so basically this is now the amount she will receive after two years and that is what they wanted so now let's see how the marks can be awarded so 
So M1 for quoting the formula correctly and M another M1 for substitution, M1 for simplifying and A1 for the output. So basically that's how the formulas could be awarded. Now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 came from your name 2008 paper 1 question 12 B and it says Mukasa wants to buy a house which is priced at shillings 56 million. A deposit of 25% of the value of the house is required. A bank will lend him the rest of the money at a compound interest rate of 15% per annum and payable after two years. Calculate part A, the deposit Mukasa must make, part B, or Roman 2, the amount of money Mukasa will have to pay the bank after two years. And part C, calculate the total money which Mukasa will spend to buy the house. So you start with Roman 1, the deposit, remember they said he has to pay a deposit of 25% of the value of the house. Now the value of the house was 56 million, so it will be 25% of 56 million, which will be 25 over 100 multiplied by, multiplied by 56 million to come up with shillings 14 million. So that was the deposit Mukasa had to pay. Now before we go to the next slide, let's see how much can be awarded for this slide. So M1 will be for substitution and A1 for the output. So now we shall go to Roman 2. So for Roman 2, Roman 2, they wanted the amount of money Mukasa will have to pay the bank after two years. So first of all, money lent will be the, the balance. Remember the bank lent him the remaining amount which will be 56 million minus the amount which he minus the deposit of 14 million to come up with 42 million now that 42 million will be our principal then you know that amount is equal to well, this is the formula for amount amount is equal to p in brackets 100 plus r everything over 100 mod everything raised to power n so what we are going to do we are going to substitute we are told that the rate is 15%, so where this arrow shall put 15, and the principal is what we have calculated as P. Then the 2 is the 2 years, because the bank, he had to pay after, he had to pay the money after 2 years, for 2 years. So basically that is the substitution, now next is to simplify and get the amount. So when you simplify, you shall come up with this so the, the whole of this in bracket will be equal to 1.15 to power 2 and when i simplify further I come up with 55 million 545 thousand shillings so that was the amount they wanted in roman 2 that is roman 2 now we shall go to roman 3 where they say they find the total money which mukasa will spend to buy the house so the total will be the amount, the deposit and the amount is going to pay the bank. So when I add the two, I'll come up with shillings, 69,545,000. So basically that's what they wanted in Roman 2 and Roman 3. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So B1 for you to get the principal, M1 for substitution, M1 for simplifying, A1 for output, M1 for substitution here, and A1 for output. So basically, that's how the mask could be awarded. Now we shall go to example 3, which came from your name, 1994, paper 1, question 16a, and it says, Mr. Capelle deposited shillings 2.421 million on a savings account at the bank at a compound interest rate of 8.5% per annum. Determine the number of years his money will accumulate to 2.85 million. So in this case, this 2.421 is what we call our principal at the beginning. 
8.5 is our R which is the rate and this 2.85 is what we call our amount after n years so the number of years is not given and that is what we are going to look for so first thing to do is to code the formula and substitute that we and then look for the unknown so this is the formula for compound interest amount then we shall substitute amount was 2.85 principal was 2.421 r was 8.5 now n is what we are looking for so the first thing to do is to simplify what is in the bracket to come up with 1.085 raised to power n so now from this step we are going to divide both sides by 2.421 to come up with that so i think we realize that this and this will cancel so i'll come up with so this divide by this i'll come up with 1.177 and this in this side i remain with only this which will be 1.085 raised to the power n then I'll put logo, logarithm on both sides because the unknown is a power, so I have to first put logarithm on both sides to bring the power down. So when I put logo, logarithm on both sides, I'll, I'll get log, log 10, log base 10 of 1.177, and this side also log base 10 of 1.085 raised to the power n. Now the next thing to do is to bring this power down, it's one of the low rules of logarithm. So when I bring the power down, I'll come up with that. Then next is to use the calculator to, to press log of 1.177 to come up with 0 0.0707. Then log of 1.085 to come up with 0 0.0354. Then this N is what we put here. Now, so that is how they simplify when the power is, when, the, when you're looking for when the power is unknown so in that case we shall now divide both sides by 0 0.0354 to come up with n being equal to 0 0.0707 over 0 0.0354 so when i use the calculator i come up with 1.997 so when i round off the nearest whole number it will be two years so basically those are the number of years they wanted in this question so now let's see how much can be awarded so m1 is for this substitution here and this m1 is for division and simplifying so that means it will be given at this point then this m1 is for putting logarithm on both sides then this one is for bring the power down and this one is for the final number of years rounded off to the nearest whole number so basically that's how the mass could be awarded so now we shall go to example 4 example 4 came from nine. UNEB 1987 paper 2 question 17b and says a certain amount of money was invested at compound interest at a rate of 10 percent for five years given that at the end of the period the owner received shillings 500,000 find the amount originally deposited so first of all you have to remember that the amount originally deposited is what we call the principal so that's what they want this five years is our n and this 10 is our r which is the rate and this amount received is our a so what we are going to do we are going to code the formula and then substitute and after that we shall simplify to make to get the unknown so that's the formula for compound interest amount so a is equal to p in brackets 100 plus r over 100 everything raised to the power n when i substitute my amount is 500,000, which was here then p is what we want r is 10 which was already given here a, then n is 5 this n is 5 which was already given here so what you are looking for is p which is an unknown so what you are going to do you are going to first simplify what is in the brackets to come up with 1.1 raised to the power 5 so when i divide both sides by this i'll come up with that so 1.1 raised to the power 5 is this and when i divide both sides by that i'll come up with 500,000 over 
1.61051 to come up and in the end I'll come up with shillings of 310,460.66 so basically that is the amount which was originally deposited so now let's see how much can be awarded so m1 for, for was for this substitution on the right left hand side m1 for substitution on the right hand side m1 is for this division and a1 is for this output so basically that's how the formats could be awarded and that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching and what i'm going to do i'm going to leave you with an, ex with an exercise but this time will be a combination of simple interest which we saw in the previous video and compound interest which you have just looked at in this video So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions to the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who is not yet on, the, on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.